Steve Jarrus. Up, playing way left. So Jarrus a strike in the fourth frame, but Parker Bowen has ripped off four straight strikes to start this match. And Steve Jarrus needs to answer back with a double of his own, Phil. He's already finds himself 32 pins in the rears, needs to pick up the pace right here, put the pressure on Parker Bone the third. Has 14 career 300 games. Extension. Looks good. Oh, it does not make the final break back up into the pocket, and he leaves another light seven pin. On a shot that I thought was going to come back, must not have gotten the proper wrist lift on the ball. Ball hung just a little bit. So another seven pin here in the fifth frame. Steve Jaros needs to pick it up and then hope Parker slows down just a bit. <laughs> That's about all he can do right now. So Parker Bone, 35 years of age. And he has earned at least $100,000 each of the last six years and eight of the last nine years. Well, he's a great player. Going. Certainly been nothing but perfect so far in this game. Looking for five strikes in a row. When he leaves a seven pin, that 10 pin almost stood up. Well, happy to avert the split, but Parker threw what he thought was a good enough shot for a strike. Didn't quite get enough of that seven pin. He'll have to shoot at it, make the spare. Remain 31 pins up with the conversion of the seven pin after five frames. Still, very good shape. Slide ball. And able to pick up that seven pin in the fifth frame. Barker still up in the match. Uh, he recently went on a nice uh, promotional tour for Brunswick, a tour in Asia. Went to Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Japan after a tournament in Erie, Pennsylvania earlier this year. Nice trip. Nice trip, but I'll tell you what, that'll tire you out, traveling overseas like that, going to all those different countries. But uh, Parker enjoys doing that kind of work, and he enjoys striking, and he gets one right here. Doing a lot of that. In the sixth frame. Steve Jarris now really has to get it going if he has any hopes of uh, beating Parker Bone and winning the Japan Cup title. Well, no doubles in the first half of the game. He'll certainly need some in the second half in order to have any chance against Parker. That's coming back, and there's a great solid shot for Steve Jarris as he gets the strike in the sixth frame. Able to get that ball to finish on the back end, so Jarris try to use that strike and work on something. It looked like he was filing uh, on his thumb just a bit. Well, a lot of times guys will make adjustments. Maybe they just uh, just didn't quite have the right feel. So, you know, it takes takes care of that and wants to make sure that the ball is comfortable in his hand so that he can make as good a shot as possible going into this seventh frame. Working on that strike. Like to make it two in a row. Another great shot. Cuts that lead down to about 20 pins. Certainly right what right at the time that he needs it most as we take a look just behind Steve on his right. That's his wife, June. So Parker knows that uh, Steve Jarris will not go quietly here in this title match. Very quiet. Got it done here. And Parker Bone answers. So he has a double. Takes that lead back up 10 more pins for Parker and puts Parker in a very, very good position once again. But mathematically, this game certainly is not over. There's a lot that can be done in the latter stages of the game. And Steve Jarris putting pressure on Parker Bone the third. Again, this would go a long way. You had mentioned before for PBA Player of the Year honors. Parker won the Greater Harrisburg Open earlier this year. Also one in Detroit, one in Brentwood, California. A couple of second place finishes. He's had a phenomenal year. Well, if anybody's going to trip Parker up for player of the year, it'll probably be Walter A. Williams Jr. Oh, what a shot. The head pin goes to the sideboard. It went right in back of the seven pin. The messenger looked like he was going to get there and take care of the seven, but did not happen. Parker Bone, best he can do in the eighth frame, will be a spare. 
And Parker trying to make it two wins here in the Japan Cup. He won it back in 1992. Pete Weber and Leno Monticelli also won this event twice as he picks up the seventh pick. Well, now certainly uh, Steve Jarrus getting up, working on a couple of strikes, and has thrown uh, two uh, near perfect strikes, and would like to add one right here and really put the heat on Parker. Well, right now, Parker Bone working at a 238 pace. Steve Jarrus can get up to the 210 pace with a strike right here, and he does. He's coming back. Steve Jarrus strikes out. He can shoot a possible 248 game. Parker Bone, as I said earlier, working at a 238 pace. So if Jarrus continues, continues to strike, it'll put the pressure on Parker Bone to have to throw in another double or two in order to win this match. This is certainly not over. We've got a long way to go in just a couple of frames to decide who's going to win the 98 Japan Cup. to go. So Jarris now with four in a row and Parker Bone in the ninth. Well, Jarris kind of threw up a prayer there. Boy, that was very, very light in the pocket. Tickled him over. <laughs> Using the Brunswick gold pins. As Parker now. Try to answer with a strike. Does just that. A lot of strength on that ball. He's kind of staring at those pins saying, yeah, you better fall. <laughs> Parker's, a, Parker's a nice guy, but he'll stare at those pins, give him a little bit of his wrath. And a lot of times they'll stare right back at you, that seven or ten pin, won't they? So Parker now heads into the tenth frame, and we have got a match. If Parker Bone can strike the first ball in the tenth, He'll be up in the 240. Steve Jarris with a possible 248. Parker would need to throw two strikes in the 10th to shut him out to get into the 250s. First shot in the 10th. It's got to hurry. Oh, and this is the seven pin. And that's an instant replay of what we saw in the eighth frame with the head pin going to the sideboard and going behind the seven pin. Right now, Parker Bone, best he can do, 238. Steve Jarris sitting on the bench knowing that he can control his own fate. He can get up and throw a couple strikes in the 10th frame to win this tournament. Parker won his first title in Seattle back in 91 as he picks up the seven pin. Not a member of the Hall of Fame yet. He will be soon. He will be a first ballot inductee into the Hall of Fame. I can guarantee you that with the credentials that he has, that's certainly an easy one. Pete Weber, I believe, being inducted into the Hall of Fame this year? Yeah. During the Tournament of Champions. As Parker gets the strike, but it's up to Steve Jarris. Well, Parker Bone finishes with 238. Steve Jarris, possible 248. So. Needs the first two strikes. Anything less, Parker Bone is your champion. Well, Parker usually doesn't watch his opponent, and he's still not going to watch. That, no, oh, he's, he's peeking, Phil. <laughs> he wants to see this shot. Looks pretty good. Coming back. Oh, Will the tenth come on? Unbelievable. No, the messenger did not get over there. Parker Bone is the winner of the 1998 Japan Cup, and for Steve Jarris, Great try, young man, but it's going to be 25,500 consolation for second place. And Parker Baum wins this major tournament. And there's a hug from his mom. That's always nice. Well, Jean comes to a lot of the tournaments and uh, very supportive of her boy and doesn't generally disappoint her. So Steve will just finish out the match. And another 10 pin, so Steve Jarris. Finishes with a 226, but that stubborn 10 pin, the first ball in the 10, may have cost him the title. However, it's Parker Bone, a well deserved Japan Cup championship. Well, Parker waited for well over an hour, Phil, and uh, boy, he bowled great. He's your champion of the 1998 Japan Cup.